Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will be telling you guys that when things fall apart, greater things come together. It's kind of a story time and mainly advice, but you know, we got it all together, okay? Um, so this story starts off when I was in the 7th grade. I had met one of my best, bestest friends. Um, her name is Amanda. Hey girl, much love. I love you so much. And, um... We had met each other in the seventh grade, and we became really close, like, really fast, but I really want to say, like, we really became close, like, in eighth grade. Um, so let me, let me tell you guys a little bit about her, okay? She has one of the biggest hearts I know. She's so outgoing. Um, she literally will make you feel, like, so comfortable, even if you just met her, like, to the point where, like, you'll tell her, like, your whole life story and just feel, like... You're not being judged or anything. Um, I have always looked up to her. Like, I still look up to her. Because, like, this girl, like, I don't know how the heck she does it. But, y'all, damn. Like, I feel like if if everyone was like her, this world is just, whoa. Like, it would be so much better. But anyways, I very, very much adore her. And I love her so much. And that's why I am making this video. To show you guys that sometimes friendships kind of do take, like, a detour. Okay? So... We became close in 8th grade, and then the way this middle school was, it was only a two-year middle school, 7th and 8th grade. There was no high school nearby, there was no, like, it wasn't next door, it wasn't connected, it wasn't anything like that. So, after 8th grade, um, she ended up going off to a different city, and then I stayed behind, and then we went to two different high schools. So at this point, we didn't, we kind of like lost touch with each other because this is back, this is back when social media wasn't popping as much as it is now, okay? Um, so we ended up like not really talking anymore. Um, and at this point, not, this is not when things fall apart, okay? Um, I just had, like, I would always think about her and I'd be like, I wonder how she's doing, I wonder how she is, I, I wonder if she has like a new best friend, like, you know, kind of thing. So it was that. And then... One day, out of the blue, my senior year of high school, it was in February, so this was 2013, because you know how, like, the years, like, you know, they have, like, a new year in the school year, yeah, I don't know, some confusing type thing, okay? So, um, she, um, so I had study hall, and this guy, um, was there, and I knew him, and she, he was, like, the mutual friend between me and her, but, like, I think I met her through him, if I'm not mistaken, but it's not the point. So anyways, so um, we were sitting in study hall, and he had told me, he was like, hey, he's like, do you remember Amanda? And I was like, yes, like you guys literally, I like lit up and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. And then um, he was like, yeah, dude, he's like, I've been talking to her, and um because they had a thing going on, like, they liked each other and, like, whatnot. Like, he had a thing for her. So, he would, like, always, like, t well, at this point, he would, like, talk to me about her. And he'd be like, yeah, dude. He's like, well, you know, winter formal is coming up the end of February. And he was like, I'm thinking about asking her. You guys, I literally, I was just hyping him up just for me to see her. Like, I was like, do it. Like, ask her. Like, go ahead. Like, I'm sure she's going to say yes. Like, blah, blah, blah. And I just literally was just, like thinking of all this stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm gonna get to see her again after, like, three and a half years or so, like, I'm not seeing, like, one of your best friends, yeah, you're gonna want to see him, okay? So I was like, dude, I was like, ask her, like, do it, do it, do it. So he ends up asking her, she says yes, and then she comes to winter formal, and you guys, literally, this would have been a scene out of an airport, okay? She was standing here, and, like, I had just, like, w like I had walked in, and we just, like, made eye contact, you guys, and we literally just, like, ran to each other, and we hugged each other for probably, like, a good ten minutes, and I'm just like, I never want to let you go again, like, you know, and, um, it was like nothing had ever changed. It wasn't even, like, we stopped talking. It wasn't even anything. Like, it was just, like, boom, like, back to the basics at this point. So, me and her kind of caught up a little bit, you know, and we kind of danced around and, like, blah, blah, blah. We had a good time and whatever. And then we exchanged numbers because I was like, you ain't getting away from me this time, honey, okay? So, we exchanged numbers and we talked, like, throughout these months and whatever. And before you know it, it's May and, of course, it's prom season or prom month or whatever you want to call it. And the guy, the same guy, he had told me, he was like, 
yo, I'm thinking about asking her to prom. And of course, I was like, dude, I was like, this makes so much sense. Like, we went, like, we went through puberty together. We went to middle school together. Like, we didn't talk, like, literally all of high school. And then I was like, you have to bring her to prom. Like, there's no better way than going out of, like, your, your, I guess, like, your learning years part one with like you know I was just like dude you have to like ask her so he's like okay so he asks her whatever and he brings her so she says yes and then he brings her so the thing that I really love about her is that me and her both hated prom <laughs> she had some drama going on and in, in, in her situation and stuff so I'm not gonna get into that but she has some drama going on and I didn't feel good and I didn't want to be there and everything just was not going my way so um so we were both kind of like drowning in our sorrow but like together like we both literally we just were like we give up like i'm just this evil prom wins okay <laughs> like go ahead um so that's the thing that we kind of like suffer together but like but as long as we're together that's what matters you know anyways so she came to my graduation party i came to her graduation party and that was the summer of 2013 so we hung out pretty much a little bit of that summer and then like a little bit of that fall. But then 2014, you guys, is literally when everything started to like be so great, okay? And we would hang out like three times a week, four times a week. Um, sometimes like literally maybe even like every day we would see each other. Um, we would, and if we didn't see each other, we would be on the phone with each other. And, um... We would go to car shows together, we would go bowling, we would go out to eat, and then there'd be the days where we didn't feel good or, like, we didn't, like, feel like getting all dressed up and, like, going out and, like, we didn't really, like, have, like, um, like, we just didn't want to do anything, so we would just, like, chill, whether that be at, like, her place or, like, my place, like, we would just, like, eat all the greasy food and everything and all the ice cream on this planet and, like, we would sit there, watch movies, watch TV shows, and it was just, like, one of those, like, really cool relationships to where, like, we just, we could do anything, and as long as we were doing it together, it was just fun. Like, we were just having the times of our lives. Like, there would be times where we would just, like, take naps, and, like, I'd just be so happy because we're just, like, taking naps. Like, well, sleep is important, but anyways, um, but that's the thing. So, we had built this like, the greatest bond on this planet, okay? And then, I believe it was, like, that summer, 2014 summer, things kind of, I think it was, like, the end of, like, July or, like, July or something, things, we started to be distant, and I would always, like, try to hit her up and be like, yo, girl, like, what are we doing this weekend? Like, like, I'm trying to go out, like, what are you trying to do? So, like, you know, we were kind of always doing that kind of thing, and she like wouldn't respond to me or sometimes she would just be like I'm busy I can't and I was like okay like it's cool whatever so then we didn't hear from each other she didn't hear from me I did not hear from her so then I'm just kind of like okay like I don't know like okay like I thought I had did something at this point but um I remember I was out of town and this was like early August um August 2014 and I remember I was out of town, and this number had texted me, and I'd never seen this number before. And it was like, hey, um, how are you? Like, I miss you. And I was like, please, God, do not let it be an ex, please. So um, she was like, she's like, it's me. And I, because I asked her, I was like, who is this? And she's like, it's me. I got a new number. I got a new phone, and like, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh, okay. So now I'm thinking, like, well, duh, that's why I didn't hear from her, because she didn't have a phone, you know? So, she's like, well, like, when can I see you or whatever? So, I was like, um, when I get back, I'll let you know. So, I'm pretty sure it was, like, a week, exactly a week to this day, like, to that day. Um, she had, she came over and she was, like, telling me. And the one thing that I, like, I don't like that anyone in general, like, I really, really, like, an annoys me, I just feel so disrespected, is when people question me, like, they're like, well, I thought you would say this, and I thought you'd be mad, and I thought that, you know, you would react this way, and I thought, da 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 no, you thought wrong, okay, and if you, and that's the thing, especially when it's coming from, like, 
a person close to me and like they know how I am like they know how I would react they know what I would say they know what I would do like you shouldn't ever question me especially if I'm your best friend so anyways so we kind of went through that and we made it through and we still hung out like that fall you guys we literally did it all like we had so much fun we just went out and there would be times I remember this one time we went bowling and we were just like, it was just one of those moments where we just kind of like lost and we were just laughing. I don't know what the heck we were laughing about, but we were laughing about something. And in like the midst of us laughing, like in my mind, like I was laughing and then I was just like, I'm laughing with the same person that was questioning me about something that I would never do. And then I'm just like, how does this work? So um, I just kind of let it go because like I didn't want to lose her as my friend over some like dumb stuff like, you know, and. And it was just whatever, like, she kind of was, like, in her own head, and I was just kind of, like, in my own head kind of thing about it. So, yeah. So then, after that, we went 2015, 2016, and pretty much, like, all of 2017 up until, like, the fall. Which is another thing I want to say. I feel like the fall, like, beginning October until, like, January 1st is like the time where people like to come back into your life for some odd reason like I don't know if it's the cold that's getting to these people I don't know if it's like your heater's broken and like you're just trying to you know use someone someone else's heat but literally like I just I don't get it anyways so we didn't talk 2015 2016 and then pretty much all of 2017 up until like the end of the year and um yeah, and then we didn't talk all all these, like, for those years, and this is, that's when things really fell apart, you know what I'm saying, and I remember there would be days where I'd be, like, thinking about it, I'd be like, dude, did I do something, like, was I in the wrong for something, like, I don't do anything wrong, like, you know, and I can say that, because, like, you know, I just know, um, and I was just thinking about it, and I was like, am I do like, did I do something, did I say something, like, I just don't get it, like, you know, and... Then the end of 2017 comes about and I, and here's the thing, I would always like think about her. I would always be sending prayers her way. Like even if we didn't like, we fell off like the way that we did, which was like really, you guys are going to get to see like everything. So I was just kind of like, you know, I hope she's doing okay. Like I hope everything is going on in her life is like fine. And I hope she's happy and content and like, you know, whatever, because she deserves it, you know? So the end of 2017 comes along and I get a message on social media and she's like, hey, um, she's like, hey girl, um, how are you? Like, how you been? It's been so long. And I thought I was getting pranked. I was like, who's, who made this fake profile and why are they talking to me? And she ended up like, um, I think it was either that night or like the night after we were on video chat. And we were talking, and I just randomly, because, like, I'm just, like, that honest person. So I was just kind of like, um, why did we stop talking all of a sudden for, like, three and a half years or, like, two and a half years or whatever, however many that is? And then she was like, she goes, I don't know. She goes, I was going through some stuff, and, um, she had told me, like, you know, obviously what was going on, and I told her what was going on, and I think... I honestly feel like we needed time apart because I feel like we were just kind of both like relying on each other so much that we weren't living our own life. We were living like our lives for each other. Like I remember I just wake up and I just be like, yo, like, let's go out. Let's do something like, you know, and then or let's be like, oh, like, oh, let's plan something for the weekend or whatever. And I wasn't really like focusing on myself. And I feel like she can probably say like the same thing for her, too. But um. But she had told me, she was like, you didn't do anything wrong. She goes, I can't think of anything. She goes, I don't remember you doing anything wrong. And I was like, you didn't do anything wrong either. So it was just literally like, we just stopped talking. And like I said, this is this may kind of sound like messed up, but like, I'm kind of glad we kind of went through that stage in life because I feel like we, again, we relied so much on each other that like, we weren't like each, like I wasn't my own individual. Like we were just kind of like, stuck together like you know and that's not always a good thing because you should always be your own person and you know I, this was like also like when I was coming down from like my heartbreak high and everything so um 
I just feel like I always wanted to be by her because she made everything okay. Like, she made everything feel okay. Like, when I was with her, I didn't feel any pain. I didn't feel any heartbreak. I didn't feel like I needed to cry my eyes out. I didn't feel like the need to, like, reach out to my ex or, like, stalk his page or anything. She just made me, like, forget everything, which I absolutely adore her, and I can never thank her enough for that because I feel like if it wasn't for her, I feel like I literally would probably still be, like, heartbroken, you know? Um, so this is when everything came together. Ever since the day that she hit me up, we literally, you guys, we talk every single day. We video chat. We, um, she unfortunately moved two hours away from me, so... We don't see each other that often, but we always try to make plans to, you know, see each other and whatnot. But one thing is for sure, we have one of, like, the greatest friendships ever. And I wouldn't even change it for anything. I would go back and do the same thing over a thousand times because I know in the end, like, she's going to always be, my, be by my side, you know. And um, we talk every day. We check up on each other. We pretty much are, like, married in a way, honestly. <laughs> um... I consider her to be a big sister. I will always continue to look up to her. Um, this girl has been through so much, and yet she's still, like, she's literally the strongest person I know, hands down. Like, I just I just don't know how she does what she does. But, um, yeah, so if you guys are going through something with your friend or something, and you're like, oh, my gosh, like, we're never going to be friends again, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, you literally never know. Like, it's... I feel like it all comes down to miscommunication and it all comes down to, you know, if you guys miscommunicate something, the other person's going to take it the wrong way, obviously, and then, you know, it, that's not right. So, I would say be the bigger person, man up, and go talk to them and just, you know, fix it. Because if it's, if it's like a person that's like worthy of y'all being friends and you guys had that like real relationship and like real connection and real vibes and everything then of course you're gonna always want that person in your life you know and she ain't allowed to leave me so ha i already called dibs um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys take something away that you know sometimes when things fall apart it's for the better like literally there's greater things that are going to happen but you just have to give it time you know again this took us like what 2015 2016 and let's say most of like 2017. So let's say about like two years and a half or so to like come back together. And like now we're greater, we're the greatest thing ever, honestly, okay? Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys, you know, fix it. I hope you um, mend relationships and mend your hearts and everything. Just remember that everything is going to fall into place, okay? Just always remember that. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.